I got to play Far Cry New Dawn for a few hours at Ubisoft and I really did not want to stop playing. Trust me, if you liked Far Cry 5 as much as I did and wanted more, then this is totally it with a lot of great changes including on how the economy and the weapon unlock system works. In this video I want to go in depth on that and show you all the weapons that you can craft in Far Cry New Dawn with some upgrades being available in missions as well. So if you enjoyed that, then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. Let's start with one important thing and that is that weapons now have ranks in Far Cry New Dawn. With of course the higher the rank, the better the weapon. And you'll find these ranks on the enemies as well, showing you how strong they are. When you start out the game, you will mostly see rank 1 enemies with sometimes a rank 2 enemy here and there. But of course, when you progress through the game and do more challenging content, then you will fight higher rank enemies. With the elite enemies being very tough to kill. I think they even regenerate health if you do not keep hitting them. At least during my fight I saw them with full health again multiple times while I totally did some damage before. You see me shooting here with my rank 2 MP34 doing some damage but really not a lot. While of course if I use that MP34 on regular enemies of a lower rank then I deal way more damage. And yes you now see damage numbers when hitting enemies and I actually really like that addition because it adds way more depth to the weapons making it easier to see which one is better as well and because of these ranks and these tougher enemies with more health you really have to craft the best weapons and go for the best loadout when facing those tougher enemies because yeah they take way more bullets than before here you see me for example fighting a rank 3 bear with a rank 1 shotgun and I need a ton of hits to take him out. But sure, this takes away from the quote-unquote realism, but it also adds way more depth to the gameplay. And the fact, of course, also is that these enemies will be way easier when you end up crafting better weapons. So let's start with the rank 1 weapons you can craft in Far Cry New Dawn. The regular weapons that you can by the way also find in the world by defeating the highway men that are patrolling Hope County. We start with a melee weapon, an old wood bat, then we got the rusty 1911, of course a regular handgun in Far Cry 5 as well. The .44 Magnum, we got an SMG that just like the other previous guns can be used in your off hands. And you by the way also have a separate melee slot again just like in Far Cry 5. The MP5 is a rank 1 weapon, we got the M133, the ARC that every Far Cry 5 cultist had of course. Well now I actually found this weapon from rank 2 highway man. So of course when you take them out you can then grab that weapon and use it instead of having to craft it. But I don't think you hold on to it forever though, like you still need to craft it to unlock it at the workbench. By the way, more on crafting a little later in this video. We also got the SVP sniper rifle that was of course added with the Hours of Darkness Vietnam DLC in Far Cry 5. And now has a rank 1 version in New Dawn. And we got a rusty M60 that you can also pick up in red from the Highwayman and... I like it way more that way. We also got a tree branch bow, a rusty RPG-7. Isn't that the one that we could only find in the world in Far Cry 5? Like the classic RPG? I think so, right? Well, now you can craft it in New Dawn. We got the flamethrower and of course the new saw launcher version 1 that actually is a lot of fun to use because the discs like bounce as well. So they can hit multiple enemies and with the 200 damage you should be able to kill all the rank 1 highwayman enemies in one shot. And that is on the normal difficulty at least. So sometimes you get two enemies with one disc or three should be possible as well thanks to the discs like bouncing multiple times. And you will be able to shoot multiple discs in few future upgraded versions of the weapon. You need to upgrade your workbench by the way to also craft rank 2, rank 3 and then elite weapons. And that can be done in the home base section of the menu. Here you can upgrade many things that will let you craft better items but also an increase in health for example here or an increase in power for your guns or fangs for hire increasing their health and damage. So there are many things to upgrade and unlock but I think that the workbench for better weapons is something 
that you totally want to do as soon as possible. We'll of course give more tips and tricks closer to launch but I think that I will say the same in that video as well. And to unlock things in your home base prosperity you need ethanol, a special resource that you can get for completing outposts or an expedition that you fly to on a helicopter. They take place in other parts of the US and then you have to secure a package and then bring it back to the helicopter and fly away while fighting off multiple enemies that come to attack you. I was able to do two of these during my play session and they were both pretty different in terms of location so that was pretty nice. I will likely talk more about that in a future video. Because now I want to focus on the weapons because if you upgraded the workbench to rank 2 you can craft way more guns. We got the rank 2 melee makeshift bolted pipe and now we see the first Ubisoft club item that is the fan favorite optimism shovel from Far Cry 5 of course curious how you can unlock this one maybe with some club units or via another way i likely think the club units anyways we also got the m9 that was added via a live event to far cry 5 and is now a rank 2 weapon in new dawn we got the makeshift p226 that actually has a silencer on the gun but again makeshift another live event weapon from far cry 5 the mp34 that I like to use a lot is also back and I like the fact that this one has a red dot sight because another weapon that is actually a little better does not have that on rank 2. I will touch on that one really really soon. First the MP40 returns, we got the Factor. that was of course the first live event weapon we got in Far Cry 5. Actually some people got it before that, then it was removed. If you played Far Cry 5 around launch then you likely know that situation and I had a lot of fun reporting on that. Anyway, it's now a Ubisoft club item with a sort of police skin. The M133MS shotgun is a new don, just like a D2 Sin Eater that you got in Far Cry 5 for defeating Faith. Well, now you unlock this one if you own Far Cry 5, so easy as that. But you might already know that if you watched my previous New Dawn video where I touched on the Far Cry 5 rewards that you get if you played that game. Moving on, we got the SBS makeshift version, the 4570T, and then the weapon I actually unlocked really, really fast, and that was the one I was talking about the AK-47. The AKMS that you will see later on was actually one of my favorite weapons in Far Cry 5 so having a slightly worse version early in the game is great but in New Dawn it's actually enhanced. We namely got a screwdriver that can be used as a melee weapon and trust me that is a ton of fun to do. Like instantly killing enemies from a close range and what is interesting is that you of course now also have the knife takedowns and there is a perk that lets you instantly kill enemies from a higher rank. So from the get-go you can instantly kill enemies on rank 1. But then later if you invest in the perk you can instantly kill enemies from rank 2 and so on. But I'm not sure if this applies to the weapon takedown as well. Or it could be that a rank 2 weapon kills a rank 2 enemy instantly. But I'm not entirely sure. I think it's linked to the perk but again I can say for certain. We have the 308 Carbine that was also in Far Cry 5. We see a better version of the M60, the makeshift variant doing 60 damage instead of the 40 from the rusty M60 on rank 1. And again that damage is really noticeable in the game so that's pretty cool. We got the Red 4 on rank 2 and the Slingshot is back as well dealing 400 damage. So that would be a ton. Maybe this time it's actually a useful weapon to instantly kill enemies, but I haven't tried that yet. Because yes, on paper, 400 damage should take out most of the enemies instantly. So yes, we then upgraded our workbench to rank 3. You need 500 of the ethanol resource for that, so that's actually a lot. And the base has to be level 2 as well, and I think that happens by progressing through the main story. So you will really like get the better weapons once you near the end of the game. On rank 3 we got the optimized socket pipe, so once again a better melee weapon. The optimized steel bat that actually has the same stats as the pipe, so it's really up to you what you want. We got the AJM9 and that is a new weapon in Far Cry New Dawn. It was data mined on PC in Far Cry 5 but as far as I know never made it into the game. Well in Far Cry New Dawn it's a rank 3 optimized version. It of course first appeared in Far Cry Blood Dragon and there are some cool Blood Dragon versions in New Dawn as well. We'll look at that later. 
We got the Scorpion that you should be able to wield in the offhand as well. We see a rank 3 version of the .44 Magnum that can of course also be in the offhand. A regular Factor, but in the New Dawn handmade style. And we got the MP5 SD with a suppressor. There's an optimized 1887 with a sick butcher knife on the gun looking really really sweet the ms16 is back from far cry 5 never really a fan of this weapon though i do like the can being a silencer and yes there we have one of my favorite weapons the akms with the knife on there too it has the 100 damage instead of the 67 damage from the regular mk47 rank 2 and the MBP-50 is also back with a silencer on level 3. And we got the very strong M249 on rank 3 as well. Actually, two variants of this gun are there. We got the Gardener's Fury and the Gravity Skin. And I like that one a little bit more. The Red 4 also has a rank 3 version dealing 200 more damage compared to the rank 2 version. The Recurve Bow is back in New Dawn. A better Flamethrower and a Saw Launcher again. And now this shoots multiple discs. And by the way, it's V2. So then we kind of skipped V1 because the one in rank 1 was V0. So I think that during one of the missions you'll likely get the V1 version that is missing from the workbench at rank 2. I also namely had a mission during my PlayStation that gave me the rank 2 tree branch bow that we also do not see on the workbench. So that's why I think we will likely see other weapons exclusive to missions as well. And it makes sense that Ubisoft wants to highlight this new weapon so everyone gets their hands on it. Okay, now let's move on to the elite rank, rank 4. Our workbench is level 3 and now we can craft the best weapons in the game. For the melee weapons we got the punk bat, the nailed shovel and the reality shovel all with the 348 damage and can also of course be thrown to the target. We got the P08 that was also added to Far Cry 5 via a live event pretty late after release. It also has the blue plastic tarp for stealth, okay okay. Of course, the D50 will be in New Dawn as well. This one was also added to Far Cry 5 later. And will likely once again be the most powerful offhand weapon for a single shot. Yes, the AJM9 also has a rank 4 version, but this time in Blood Dragon style. I really love this one. It says part of the Blood Dragon team, but I'm not sure what that means. There are more Far Cry Blood Dragon items though, so likely that it's part of some sort of set. I do think that in order to craft these items, you need to have the level 3 workbench though. The A99 from Far Cry 5 returns with a sort of Christmas tape team. We got the BZ19. This one was also in Far Cry 5, but later added with the final season pass DLC, the Dead Living Zombies one. Yes, happy to see that the Spes 12 is of course also available in New Dawn. It is my favorite shotgun. And it looks pretty cool in the makeshift style. There are two D2s on the Elite rank. The Such a Boar and the Blissful Agony. Likely a throwback to the drugs used in Far Cry 5 that would make you see things. I love this Rock Paper Scissor ARC variant also with a melee weapon and we actually already saw some gameplay of this gun in the IGN first video they released a while back looking really cool the BB2 is back as well again a weapon added later to Far Cry 5 via a live event if I recall correctly and then we got the M16 that was added via the Vietnam DLC and also has a screwdriver to kill enemies via a melee attack really like this weapon and it looks great in New Dawn as well Okay, here is the AKMS in an ugly pink version. Do like the yellow and black tape though, but yeah, seems like I need to rock this pink version if I want to use the AKMS on rank 4. Let's hope they add more variants. If you want to carry around a sniper, then you might want this SA-50. It's back in two variants. And I like the first one actually a little more. Here we see an elite version of the MBP.50 that looks pretty nice. And then one of the best weapons from Far Cry 5, the MG42, also seen in Far Cry 4 of course. But added later to Far Cry 5 is now also in New Dawn on the Elite rank. We see the M79 in a more regular version and the color spray variant. The compound bow starts on rank 4 at least craftable and I really like this one the Blood Dragon recurve bow with the awesome neon paint on it. Same damage by the way as the compound bow. A pretty cool looking flamethrower, a not so cool unicorn team one and we got the Bear With Me Saw Launcher V3 
with 12 on the damage. But there's actually another variant that launches Guided Boomerang Sauce as well. So while the V3 is likely a regular Saw launcher, this V2 version has completely different ammo. Sounds pretty nice indeed. So yes, progression and crafting materials that you find in the world are needed to craft these weapons. But I would not be doing my job if I did not note that there were also Far Cry credits. So it seems like that just like in Far Cry 5, you can straight up buy all the weapons with a premium currency as well. And you can, by the way, find this in Treasure Hunts too. So the prepper stashes, like the puzzles we found in Far Cry 5. I can look at a description regarding these Far Cry credits and it says to buy prestige teach weapons, vehicles, clothes at any workbench, garage, helipad and boat shed. So I don't think you will be able to bypass the level requirements of the workbench but also hard to say right now. Of course Far Cry 5 also had microtransactions but could easily be ignored to the point that I had a ton of silver bars that I never really used because I could easily get all the items with my in-game money and of course everything they released, all the weapons and stuff like that post-launch were all free via live events. So yes, I'm still curious to hear what the post-launch will be for this game, but there should be something. Let's hope they add even more new weapons to the game via the similar sort of live events that are hopefully more exciting this time than they were in Far Cry 5. Overall, way more weapon types in Far Cry New Dawn than Far Cry 5 at launch. But if you, like me, played Far Cry 5 a lot and did all the live events that happened after launch as well, then there are only two weapons that you could not use in Far Cry 5. But yeah, the look of these weapons are of course slightly different and because of the damage numbers and the tougher enemies, this will still be a pretty different experience. One that I can't wait for because while playing, I really thought this is what I wanted from a sort of big Far Cry 5 DLC but this is so much more than that so I really can't wait for Far Cry New Dawn subscribe to stay up to date on everything about the game I got more videos with new footage coming your way so keep an eye out for that like this video to support channel and I will speak to you next time goodbye